As parents and children wait for word about what's going to happen this coming school year, the state superintendent is bringing up new frustration, specifically about crowded school buses. So we want to bring in our education reporter, Elsa Gillis. And Elsa, the superintendent criticized the guidance that he's getting from health officials. Yeah, Genevieve, as we wait to learn what the new school year will look like, State Superintendent Mark Johnson said he is concerned about inconsistent guidelines coming from the state health department. And he sent a letter about it today to the governor asking for more information. He says guidance from the NCDHHS has requirements for districts for the three scenario plans they've been asked to come up with. He says initially social distancing was required on school buses, but revisions to plan B that's the plan where schools need to operate at half capacity, reduce that requirement. Johnson says it happened without public explanation and no requirement for elementary students to wear face coverings. Now, he says instead of one student every six feet on a school bus, there could be at least one child in every seat, putting students only one to two feet apart. He says he's worried about them being so close for so long with no face coverings. He says he's requesting an explanation of the science behind this change and more transparency. And Genevieve, this could come up uh, at tomorrow's State Board of Education meeting. It's a regular monthly meeting, but there is a COVID-19 mm. update on the agenda. Back to you. Yeah, Elsa, that transportation piece is so key to get in the little ones to school. Elsa, thank you. And North Carolina is still deciding on how schools will operate in the fall. There are three main options. Plan A would be all in person learning. Plan B would be half in person and then half online. And then of course, plan C would be all online. The state still hasn't said when it will make a decision.